is to help out as a line marshal, but also as a field marshal uh, with uh, any of the, the singles competitions as well as the multi-participant uh, competitions, the melee competitions. How long have you been in marshals? Um, I've been a certified marshal now for over a year. Um, I'm one of two certified marshals from the United States. What is difficult, what is challenging in your job here at Battle of the Nation? Right. Um, you have to maintain a high level of integrity and focus. You always have to keep your eye on the field, and uh, especially in the, um, the melee competitions, there's a lot of activity at all angles. You always have to keep your, your focus to everywhere on the field, and you also have to pay attention to everything uh, as far as the rules and the action. And it's, uh, it's very challenging, but it's very rewarding. It's more something that I really enjoy doing, so, yeah. Well, there have been a lot of casualties. Uh, yesterday we saw casualties, and today, uh, what, what is the reason for that? Or you cannot just predict it? Well, it's, I think that uh, everyone is doing their best as far as safety. Um, the main thing is making sure you have the right equipment that you maintain and, and uh, take good care of your equipment at all times. Um, proper techniques is, have not been so much of an issue, I think, has been more of an issue of armor failure. And as your equipment is used and worn, the, uh, the, the ties and the stress points will stretch and things will move where they shouldn't be or they'll break. And that's when injuries occur. So that's what we've seen for the most part through this whole week. And um, there, there have been some, but uh, I think for the most part, we've been doing a pretty good job of making sure everyone is wearing the right equipment and they're using the right techniques so that the injuries are minimum as possible. Which category is the most challenging to judge? We know that there are duels, yeah, there, there is a new category, three versus three in women. Yeah, so which one and, and why? Right, so my personal opinion, the one that's uh, the more technical is the single competition because it goes very fast and you have to look at all angles at all times. The one that's more technical or more challenging from a personal perspective is the five versus five because as a field marshal, you're in the action and you have to maintain your own safety as well as the safety of the participants. So I think the five versus five is my favorite category, but more technical is the, the singles. So. Is it difficult to stay fair when your team, the team of your country, comes to the list? Yeah, you know, we do a good job of, we, sometimes we'll rotate the marshals just to make it fair for everyone, but uh, I have also judged some of the US competitions and uh, my role here is independent. I'm not here representing the team. I'm here representing uh, the uh, HMB organization as a marshal. So I'm independent from the team or from the country. Uh, it's my home country, but uh, I don't represent the team. So I'm here independently. Uh, do you train to become a marshal in your home country or you just go somewhere? Do, are there any special training programs or? Um, uh, one way to become a marshal is if you are a former fighter or you have fighting experience, that's primary. That's actually the best way. Um, I have trained in the US for as a marshal and I've actually ran competitions there as a head marshal and done um, domestic events. Uh, I've been involved in this kind of fighting for over 20 years. Um, so that helps having a background and a history. But uh, we also, there's some online training. We have forums where we exchange information and we, we communicate a lot with other marshals. That helps a lot. How popular is historical medieval battle in your country? Um, it's still a growing sport. We're, we're still in the infancy. We're still very small by comparison. But we did have a lot of good events this last year um, in California, which is where I'm from. So we had a, a few good ones in California. And this coming year, we'll have a big one in Springfield, Illinois, which should be a very good event. So. Are you planning to come next year for Battle of the Nation? Absolutely. Thank you very much. We wish you good luck, and we want to see you judging next year. A pleasure. Thank you. I look forward to it. Thank you very much.